All right, welcome to the stream. I am Neozar, and this is my FTL hard win streak, and we're up to 115. And as is the usual, I'm just gonna jump in here since we started last time. You can chat at the ship screen here. Great to see you, Sawyer, as always. I appreciated your uh, luck wishing last night. I'm not sure, I think I uh, got back too slow to, to catch you. If I remember, I can't remember, honestly. I was pretty, it was pretty dead last night. I was pretty out of it. And still had a super smooth, easy, fun time. So we're pretty stacked going in here. So we have a store first jump. System repair to sell. We got a pre-igniter. Can get the whole beam online soon. Hacking. Full crew. I'm um, surprised it's like get defenses and hacking up, get our weapons up. It's not really much we need from a store, but I'm still going to check it out. Um, fuel's great. Tons of missiles to sell. Solid with the drone parts. Um, anything else? We got battery. Got sensors, because that's where you have to buy sensors on the ship if you want them. So we got all that stuff already. Sector 6 slug. Nice late exit also. I can't remember what Sector 7 was. I feel like it was a choice, maybe? Of like, purple and green or something, I don't know. It's probably just like both, like one red, probably not the exact opposite from what I'm saying. But, so I'll be surprised. Uh, but yeah, I think we can just kind of jump into this here. Well, I guess we're gonna go to the store first. So let's just go to the store. Saw at least three, if not four, of these in stores last night, and there's another one. It's too bad they should like not sell augments that you can't buy because it's a non-stacking one, taking up all our spots in the stores. But you don't need lifeform scanner, battery charger, any of these weapons really. It's like we don't have a slug, so we can't mind control in that nebula, I guess, but that's not really a big deal considering we just like teleport over there. Mostly it's like that, you know, only helps us against rebels and slug, or rebels and pirates and stuff. Drone parts, yeah, I think about it. 10 is like kind of my like baseline. Um, so I think I'm like kind of okay with that here. You, it depends like how dependent on them I am and also like where I am in the run. Cause there's times I'll definitely go up to like 12 or 14. Um, and there's times like I won't buy them even though I'm at like six or whatever, even if I have some scrap, if I'm feeling like I need to invest in something. Um, really I'm just not sure like, I feel like I should be upgrading something going in here. It's probably hacking at least. I mean, it's like shields is a easy one too. 
or like just go right in for the seven weapon power. You know, I feel like there's definitely some options. Um, I like the seven weapon power is the most tempting, but I don't think I'm gonna do that because it's like I still kind of want to crew kill some ships here. Like, honestly, this might just be the safest play. Like, we're not gonna have a problem killing ships with all the things we have. Like, I don't expect at least. Um, let's see, we're also oxygen hack event. Doesn't really matter, Clone Bay and Lanius. So I shouldn't worry about that, really. Yeah. I'll often put off going up to three shields longer. Um, usually it's when I have cloaking. So, I'm going to go with that for now. Not my usual play, but I feel alright about it. Slugs. All the lasers. Cloaking. Hopefully the cloak's not too long. Uh, med bay. Think about how I want to do this. All right, yeah. So level one cloak. That's good. Um, gotta hack something. Honestly, I might hack their engines. The evasion hack, and then I can like split off with the med bay. Kind of works out. Um, trying to think about how I want. I mean, I kind of want them just fighting in there, I guess, to start. I gotta wait. I guess I could have fired this already. Just make my micro easy. Just use the battery a little early. I feel like that's a pretty good. And it's both the charge twos down then. Nice. Um, ideally, I'd like set up a better like second boarding team. I mean, I don't really need it. I was also figuring this is actually a one shot build against uh, phase one and two of flagship. I, this one might, phase two might be off by like one damage depending on the defense drone. I forget what I figured out. Um, but it, you know, cause also what you do is uh, to guarantee hits, the halberd swipe through piloting plus mind control the pilot gives a 100%, you know, hit chance of hit with a shield hack then. Um, so actually gonna works out. I figured, I was like, where are all their crew? Like, they gotta be somewhere. I'm gonna like just run these guys over, honestly. Just have some more people over there. These guys, mostly trained. I was being so lazy, that's right, with like, training and stuff or like well not crew training like health maintenance on crew fen another human because i'd like he dismissed the humans before um yeah i don't know sometimes i'm down with humans it's also you know it's a rebel can't trust them can't trust those rebels That's right, I gotta get the speed hack going here. Clone Bay run. Oh man, I think 
can burn down. Probably not. Oxygen's out. Yeah, no, I think that's it. Down to three hall. Okay. Hey, Farland Griffiness. Yeah, uh, don't be discouraged, though. It's like I used to not win very much either. <laughs> like, I used to lose on easy sometimes. I mean, when I started out, I lost all the time. It's a hard game. There's a ton to learn. Hey, a reloader. Probably buy that. Another hull beam. I don't really want to just rely on, like, on shield sacks, though, to deal with like two shields. Like every time. I mean, not two shields, four shields. Like if the flak's not enough, I don't really want to do flak triple beam. I like my heavy laser. On um, bubble reloader. Um, right, and do I buy a drone part here? Sure, why not? Go up to 10. No, I can't feel them. Well, yeah, you know, it depends also. Like sometimes it might be good to like you know, you don't get too, too discouraged with one game by mixing it up. Sometimes you just gotta, like, grind it out. Like, I came and went with FTL for years, um, because I played it first, like, less than a year after it came out, and I, like, only played, you know, like, 50 hours then, and then two years later played another 50 hours or something, and, like, slowly learned the game. And then last year, like, got completely obsessed with it and went super hardcore into it. <laughs> that, you know reached the tipping point, I guess. Um, double bomb, big missile. They're gonna board, I'll probably let them board over, I guess. I can just do it in the, just get their weapons room. So easy on the ship to break it up that way. All right, um, where do I board to? Just like anywhere, honestly. Just pull their crew for evasion even more. Where are they over here? Um, must be in an empty room. Also, I kind of want to let them in here. I'm gonna shoot the weapons room so we can do some damage to them. All right. Um, I guess I want to hit the med bay. Probably just do this. Way, I guess. Right, they're probably just dead, I guess. All right, and then if, I guess if they're pulling the NG, that's it. They, you know, it makes sense to only had four crew on this ship. Did they get in there? I don't think so. Like, I think they broke through the door but then died as they went through it. I guess I wasn't paying enough attention. Um, you're not gonna make it out, that's fine. Oh yeah, their, their TP's broken also, so they're definitely screwed. <laughs> We just take our time, let them punch shields, get a little more training. Make up for how many times I've killed them. Alright, that should be it then. Oh, no, they got the med bay back up. So yeah, they're still... Oh, now we got fires in there too, nice. I just wasn't paying any attention, I guess. <laughs> they both made it in there. I kind of knew I wasn't paying attention, I'll be honest. I'm sorry. A little sloppy on the Lanius B because it's such an easy ship to get away with it. Hey, WQQZ. Oh, you lost your sixth gauntlet run on a stealth C. That sucks. I mean, it's like six difficult runs in a row. Like, you know. Nothing to feel bad about, for sure. That spooked me for a second. That shit blown up. 
speed hack spooks me. Um, alright. Because we just keep going through here. We got the non nebula store, so there's one more nebula store somewhere if we want it. Gauntlet is harder than a cycle for sure, right? Um, I mean, probably. I mean, it might depend on the person, like, you know, probably, like, statistically at optimal play, I'd guess it's probably harder than a cycle. But, like, you know, sometimes it depends on people's temperaments and how they approach games. Yeah, exactly. Like, some people, it's like they actually struggle, like, doing all 28 and not throwing on an easy ship, you know, 20 runs into it or something, or staying focused across that many runs and just, like, actually doing it and not just like, you know, stop playing the game. Um, oxygen hacking me. Ah, no cloak or anything. We should be able to crew kill them fast enough. It doesn't matter. That's my plan, at least. Um, their weapons really aren't very scary. So I don't have to worry about that either. Like, I might do the medbay thing, honestly, to speed it up. them down. Firebomb! Ooh, and weapons, yeah. I don't actually want to vent it if I can avoid it just because of the oxygen hack thing. I don't need to, like, help that out at all. right? Yeah. They do not like having their shields broken. Oh, yeah. We're auction. We're totally fine with oxygen. Only 32 scrap. Seems a little low. Sector 6. Although that's right. I keep forgetting that. You don't get better scrap on that event for crew killing them. I don't know why I can't remember that. I'm going to remember one of these times. Yeah, I don't do the O2 upgrade as much now um, if I don't feel like the event's a threat to me because I learned that the rewards are the same for crew killing them or not. And like my justification for getting the O2 upgrade before at this R select sectors was that it was often hard to crew kill them if you didn't get it and it just like made a lot of fights easier. Um, like I still think it's the right place sometimes because a lot of ships, like if you're not like, you know, just rolling the run um, you can struggle against that event for sure. Um, alright. Fire weapons, the doors event, doesn't matter. Another pretty crappy slug ship, honestly. Med bay.
Level 2 medbay, you can do it. There you go. Ooh, we got a fire and weapons, nice. Alright. 60 scrap, nice and easy. Mantis. Some lasers. Some serious doors and a clone bay. Nice. Mantis aren't fooling around. Let's see. Where do we want to go? I mean, weapons is such an easy one to do. Yeah, double Mantis into the doors room. That's kind of annoying. I don't normally do this play. I'm gonna do that. They just beat each other down a bit. I'm gonna do this. Kill this guy, right? Nice. And a small bomb. Cool. So many bombs. It's pretty tempting. But we'll probably just sell it because it's like we're going to go to a store next jump. Second time we've had a small bomb. I'm like, that'd be fun to use, but I just don't have a spot to put it. And now I'm just going to sell it. Um. The bypass. It's interesting, I guess. Alright, so I'm gonna do that. Like, I'm trying to think if I actually care about the bypass at all. Because honestly, I'm probably not gonna group kill the flagship. It just, like, isn't necessary. I mean, it just doesn't matter, honestly, either way, what I do. I can crew kill it safe enough, or I can just blast it out of existence before they can do damage to me. Um, I'm not that worried about phase three either. Like with them having a crew, I don't really see it being an issue. So that's probably that. So it's like I don't see the advantage of this if I'm not gonna board them phase three. Like I don't, I don't need the bypass. Um, so just buy two drum parts and like figure out a sector map here. What do we got? Because it's like, I don't want to go that way, actually. So otherwise I'm going to be wasting a jump. I think I get like six nebula jumps before the exit. Yeah. And I don't have six nebula jumps I can do. But I could probably do like... Something like that. I'll figure it out. So anything else I want to do here by hacking to power and then probably gonna do weapons next all right prepare to chase them nice they're hacking that's not cool enemies aren't allowed to hack you have a defense drone a combat drone It's always where it's like, I just want to know where they're hacking. Piloting, that's fine. I don't care about that. Right, let's hack their weapons. Just board into it. 
shield. Actually, I want burn drone control. I'm just curious if there's anything in there. Oh, jeez. Oops. I knew that was there. I just like wasn't paying attention to it. Well, whatever. I'm just gonna go start firing. I'll use the second one. That's fine. That's at the flag. Dodging the, my own uh, being here. Alright, so what's up? If that's going, I don't care. If that's going, it's fine. Still gotta hit the clone bay down. I guess theoretically they could do damage to me with this. Be pretty unlikely though. Person's like still dying, so he can't run in there yet. Right, that's a clone bay down. They're pretending that they're trying to escape. Don't run your Artemis, that's not cool. Don't even think about it. I think this is it for them for crew. Look at that. <laughs> what a store. That was just like so unnecessary. I'm still gonna buy stuff at it. Um, probably buy the reloader and the burst laser. Thinking about like power here. Yeah. I don't need a halberd. Burst laser, because that's awesome. Reloader. This is just like fun times now. I mean, I guess I could ditch like one of the beams, but that'd be silly. I'm going to miss the heavy. It's such a fun weapon. Your drone recovery arm. <laughs> Very helpful with my lack of drones. Just like a flex on the flagship. It's always good to flex on the flagship a little bit. So I'll do that. Now we've got the pre-igniter double reloader combo. <laughs> so I shouldn't really be concerned about too much moving forward. Oh yeah, this is one, so now that we have weapon six, um, this gets you a, like a bribe offer, right? Sometimes. Maybe not, maybe it's a different event. I guess it's just a fight. It might be a chance of a bribe offer. I know there's one pirate one where like you can do that and you can just like it gives you like a high scrap offer. Um and you can just see if it comes with a free item. Basically. Uh you guys kinda suck. Like your weapons are pretty bad. I'll be honest. <laughs> Still gonna crew kill you, I guess. Just trying to think about 
I want to concentrate them. I might like not even board over at first and just like stack them up in one of the rooms. I timed this poorly because I don't have the heavy laser anymore. That's right. Oh, no, triple miss. Nice. Um, all right, let's just do that again real quick. Let's pretend like I didn't do anything there. Contact the civilian ship. All right, that was a hundred scrap even. Yeah, no, I've had a couple of people have recommended RimWorld to me, and I've like never checked it out at all. Like I've seen like screenshots of it, um, but it definitely seemed like a game that could like suck me in, so I'm very wary of it. By power, at least. Power's being annoying. I don't want a micro. Sims, except you kill. I mean, isn't Sims where you kill people? Just Sims. At least that was always my experience with Sims. Although I guess I, for as far as the Sims games go, I think I only played the original one. Um. Do we only get one jump left here? If we don't want to dive, I guess so. Or no, we get the one in the nebula. Ah, we don't need fuel. I don't think this makes the exit of dive. I didn't actually measure it very closely. But if it does, it doesn't matter because the exit's just empty jump anyway. Right, so we attack. Pirate nonsense. Who knows what they got going on. Two shields. You have like rocks. I'm not waiting around for you to like run all over the place. Clone bay, ah! I'll ever deal with them in my clone bay. Really? I, mean, I guess I wasn't paying attention, but still, come on. You're gonna hit me and everything? Right in the piloting. I guess I should turn that off. Should fire, never mind. Too much damage. I don't really want to lose you. Oh, but you're not trained in anything, so that's fine. You can lose you. Um, 
You guys are actually like fine. This is my like ship crew. Took damage. Super small maps. I used to play uh, way, way, way back, I guess. When I played like StarCraft Brood War, I used to play like the micro maps a lot for a while where it's just like the smallest map size possible with uh, eight people on it and like stacked resources. And you could just like siege tank over the wall. It was always an interesting uh, <laughs> game format. All right, engine controlled or slug controlled? Um. I mean, late NG can be kind of crappy, honestly. Same number of stores. Slugs are more fun. Do it up. What would I buy at this store? What would I possibly buy here? I have no idea what I would even buy here. <laughs> like, what could possibly be sold here that I'd buy? Like, I don't think there's any augments I would buy. Hmm. I'm not sure if I can think of a single thing I would buy that we could be offered in this store. I mean, I guess I could buy, I would buy drum parts. There you go. That's something that justifies me jumping there. Besides just like dropping my score. Oh, here we go. I wasn't doing this again. Man, I'm just like... I can't believe twice in a row. I hadn't failed that thing, that event, for like a year. And now the last two times I've had it, I've failed it because I'm just like cruising in autopilot in Sector 7 slugs. Because um, the last one was finishing off the cycle, I think. That's pretty funny, <laughs> honestly. And like, I'm not going to cheat and go back and look at it. Um... And that's also why I hit it right away before like someone notices if anyone was paying attention, tell me what it was. Uh, sure. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Yeah, like I'm sure you could clip, you know, but I'd rather be punished. Also, it's like both times it's happened, the reason it's happened is because I'm just like dominating the run and it doesn't really matter that much. Um, because if the run would had like any threat at all, I'm pretty sure I would be on top of it. Glaive, cloaking, a billion crew. I might just kill this ship. I gotta get my weapons. That's gonna take me longer now that I threw that scrap away. I'll just do an evasion hack. shoot with this. Halberd's wife's just gonna go through there, right? So I'll take out piloting. We'll just take out their shields even more, honestly. Because yeah, I can't do cloaking also. That's that. No. Store. <laughs> Guess I probably shouldn't go there. Um... Suggestive hull. Most sexually attractive FTL race. Um. All right. Sure. You want to? If you want to redeem a thousand points to have me do that poll, you got it. Oh, it's totally subjective. So it's just you know like a, a feel of the room kind of thing, I guess. Uh, 
Um, let's see. Oh, wait, do we only, we only get uh, five options here? So I gotta call it. Um, all right, so then I gotta, I gotta switch this up a little bit then, right? Well, I got Human NG Mantis Slug Lanius. So I should probably th throw rocks over something here. I mean, let's just get humans out of here, right? That's not, no one wants humans. That's not what this is about. Crystal are too rare. I know what else I'm forgetting about. Um, how many races are there? <laughs> I feel like I'm forgetting some. Oh, Zolan. Eh, who cares about Zolan are nerds. You FTL players are nerds. All right, just doing one minute here. And this, this is high stakes. All right. Content does not meet guideline, guidelines. Uh-oh. That drop a word there, apparently. But we all know what it's about. And while that's going, I'm going to take a jump. Nice empty jump. Get closer. Hail them to see what's wrong. Demand the rockship pay the agreed upon price. They pay, so I don't get the fight, but I don't get the free damage. The slugs say thanks, so I don't get the augment or whatever other, or the scrap or whatever it is for them. So I just like help resolve a dispute and just get warm fuzzies. All right, it's pretty good, right? I think that's definitely pretty good. All right, I think this pole's about to come up here. Let's see what we got. Results, 100% for, we got eight votes for slugs. No way, that can't be right. That's gotta be, oh, someone, someone obviously bombed it with their points, right? Cause you can do the extra votes or was it just like unanimous? Everyone's just like slugs. Slugs are sexy apparently. I mean, to be fair, that's probably what I would have chosen myself. But so yeah, that's pretty epic. Pulse have been influenced by mind control. Yeah, you know, we're hanging out at slug sectors. Everyone's just thinking slugs. That's pretty funny. I wasn't expecting to be so unanimous. Do I even have like one dissenter going for NGs or something? Um, all right. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my scrap to go up enough for weapons, I guess. Let me see how many jumps I have before the exit, if I can estimate it here. Probably seven nebula jumps. Oh, thanks for the gift subs, <laughs> Roy Mart. That's awesome. You have two uh, gift subs. I think that's the first time. Actually, no, that's not true. I right when I first got affiliate, uh, I had someone gave out a gift sub. But I think that's the the first since then. So that's super cool. Um. All right. Now that I have to like refocus for a second. It was what seven jumps, right? No. Yes. <laughs> yes, it was seven jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Let me just take some of these over here too. crew oh this is a cool ship i want to play this ship look at it double fire beam double charge too that's like pretty cool it's also 10 weapon power badass cloaking it's gonna have a like cloak level three still won't be long enough for the fire beams i guess almost nope all right um we can still crew kill right why not Oh, 
Um, oh, the burst laser's still coming in, right? All right, so I'm gonna do this. So I still get the two damage on weapons because that's all I really cared about. And with the double reloaders, it's like, it's just swapping them around. Oof. Poor AI. Hopefully this is it for Kryptonite. Now they have at least one more. Yeah, they're like fighting fire. Oh, two more. Nice. Oops. I guess I should have been paying more attention. They charged that thing up to four. Alright, that's totally fine. This should be it. Final. Three fuel and 67 scrap. Looking good. One six nine. Appropriate. We got Farb getting the uh, gift sub. Farb scrap. What do we need? One ninety. That's right, because I want up another weapon power with the burst laser too. So, like one more reward should get us there. Teleporter, right? I mean, we get scrap for that. Kind of check. I think it's probably still the best option, even if we have to dismiss. But heavily damaged Federation ship. So we attempt to follow. It's either nothing, get a fight, get a crew member. If we do teleporter, it's crew member and medium scrap. So basically, if I want guaranteed medium scrap or risk nothing to try and get the fight instead, if it's only one out of three out of the fight, and otherwise it's like worse. Just do the blue option. Alright, nick me. Thank you. Goodbye. Thanks for the scrap, nick me. Kind of an awkward sounding name. Um, four, five jumps still. Alright. So probably just go like up around through here or something. Fire weapons. More fire weapons. Slug, slugs, you're just like awesome. They're like living their best life. That's probably the vibe I get from slug sectors. Like all the other sectors are kind of like bitter and angry and slugs are just like having a blast. Doing all these med bay hacks. So I'm playing like Mantis A or something. Come on, you're so slow. Doors, you suck. I used to drop their evasion too. Almost too much damage. 63 scrap. All right. Might be like fires too. Probably blow up. Cool. That's a loadout. Might do you need to do that? Might as well. Um, 
I guess there's still another store somewhere, isn't there? It's gotta be like one of these three. Doesn't really matter. Don't really need to go there still. <laughs> One, two, three, right? Is that right? I keep second guessing myself. Yeah, that should be fine. Slugs, mind control. Should get to use our mind control. Clone bay. Really, does he only have five weapon power? It's pretty weak. He only still with just three shields or evasions, maybe like crazy or something. I don't know. Maybe that's high level mind control. Either way, I'll hack their weapons. Just board somewhere else. Hey, you don't need to punch him still. That wasn't nice. It's not his fault he's mind controlled. Fire's going. Oh, Weston, you're cooked. Kill them off. They're gonna die. It's like, we're gonna need to do this anyways. So just hop on in there. Hey, swamps. Um. I guess you're better than Nathan, but Nathan's been with us for so long. I'm not gonna betray Nathan like that. Goodbye, swamps. It's like the fourth or fifth crew member I think we've had to dismiss. Hop on over there. Honestly, we're like running like kind of behind on some upgrades and stuff. I blame the moons and my just like total laziness. <laughs> Unfocused. Um, medical unit. That's fine. It's funny though, this is one where clone bay is worse because med bay level two gives you a blue option to like leave one up, but you don't get one for clone bay. Um, but I'm just gonna kill him. So it doesn't really matter. Sixty-nine scrap again. Just a sexy slug sector, I guess. Come on, slugs. I 
There we go, Nathan gets his fight training back up, that works. Attack! Big fat missile, cloaking, mid bay. Mind blast too. It's kind of annoying. So just another one where I'm like, please just be a short cloak. Alright, level one cloaking. It's my favorite. Oh man, don't have four drone parts actually. Alright, I'm not gonna hack. I'm not gonna bother crew killing here either, I don't think. Kind of an annoying fight. I'm just gonna shoot him. Halberd. I don't know all the whole beam swipes if there's ones that are like. Because it's like kind of like Halberd, but it's a little bit longer. Sometimes there's better swipes. No. Um, wait, you better not fire. Because you totally might. not going to go off in time either. Uh-oh. Whew, made it before the breach went off. I guess I could have like double checked that a little more. I was like, no, that's totally fine when I looked at it. It's totally going to be within range. Like, yeah, no, it is, but I guess that's pretty close. I mean, also, it wasn't even at a, uh, you know, it's in a nebula, so it doesn't matter as much. Although, I guess, like, I don't have cloaking. I only have three engines. <laughs> Could have been a problem diving. I, mean, I would have just killed them, I'm sure, instead and ran that way. But either way, going to the last sector. I really just have to watch out the drone parts here. Base. Probably go this way actually just to try to hit the repair for drone parts. Although it gives me a lot less options. But it's going to get me like in towards the flagship anyway, so I'll probably go that way. Um, but I'm just going to take a break here for a minute and grab a drink and stuff, refresh myself before the flagship so I don't like moon it up. And uh, then we'll finish this one off. Put that up. Alright, just be a minute here.
Schmutzy's coming by. She was just like hanging out right by me, so I figured she can buy say hi for a second. Yeah. Probably wants to go back in the window. Watching for squirrels, chipmunks. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what you want to do. You were having fun doing that. Lay my lap too a little bit. I see your tail's gonna like go by here. Oh. Right back in the window. Probably interrupted her like watching something specifically. As long as it's not with a like a neighborhood cat, because then she like attacks the window screen and like rips it. Alright, um, make sure I got everything set. Yeah, get the BRB down. Right. So it's like honestly not that concerned about my defenses for flagship because we just like utterly dominate them. Like phase three, even if every single shot misses, their zone shields down around uh, 10, 11 seconds. So it's like, we can overcome bad RNG pretty smoothly, I think. And then we drop their evasion to zero, phase one, phase two. Um, so really just need hacking three for that. I think it's probably by engines for and like doors and battery and stuff, but I'll just start with that. Because yeah, I'm not gonna bother crew killing them. Um, yeah, I guess I should go this way. Pipe's pretty low. Really want to go that other way and just like feel it, but probably just because I want to chase the store instead. I don't need prepared fight the rebel ship. Um, yeah, it's like I don't want to do, um, what's it called, hacking until I have more drone parts, so I'm just going to kill these ships, like, otherwise. So I guess just put everything to weapon sound. Might as well crew kill them actually. Nine scrap and twenty six scrap. All right, Nathan, I guess you have some fight training, right? Well, you'll probably regain it. Like enough. Yeah, you retained it. Nice. I think as long as they have anything into the next level, they don't drop a level with the fight training at least. Oh, uh, Whiskey's sad they have a job and have to leave each day. Yeah. Uh, Schmutz is definitely sad when it was like COVID stuff was over. Well, not over, but like going back to work and opening our shop was a thing again. And it's like suddenly I was in here all day, every day. Definitely was sad about that. Don't like this like double missile hacking thing, but I'm gonna have seven. I'm gonna wait to see what they hack first. I'm just gonna fire volley just off the bat because I've got enough to do that. Oxygen hacking me, oh no. Hey look, everything's hitting. In that case, I can right just kill you. Yeah, I think we're okay here. I think this is gonna be okay. Fifty-three. 
get drone parts, I have a huge buffer. 42 scrap, nice. Go here. And we'll just jump to the flagship. Um, I'm like tempted to do this with three engines just to be that way. <laughs> three shields. I mean, it's probably unnecessarily like risky at a certain point. I mean, not, I'm still not sure what the risk would be, but it's like the oxygen, like if the oxygen hacked me, I'm not sure why that matters because they're going to be dead before my oxygen drops much at all. Do I need some power maybe? Not really actually. I think I just do this. Doors is nice, I guess. Could probably use more power than this. I'm buying shields. I may buy doors by the last phase. Normally I'd get oxygen too, but really just not necessary. Force shield seems good in case you miss on phase three. Yeah, exactly. It's like if I miss a ton, it'll take me... Because it's like if I don't miss a ton, I'll kill them. Well, no, it won't matter again because... Actually, well, I guess it depends how I use my control. If I save my control, I can do the halberd swipe through piloting and my control to pilot so I don't have misses. Um... And against a Zoltan shield, this charge isn't about... Oh wait, no, I have two reloaders. I was thinking three reloaders when I was doing the math. So this probably takes about 12 seconds to fire somewhere around there. So it takes 12 seconds to get the, the shield down. Because these two take out half of it each swipe. Well, whatever. I'm just going to jump in here and see it in action. Um, I don't know. They're terrifying. The flagship... As long as you have weapons hacking is basically what it is. Ooh, battery hack. Caught it just in time before it drained it. Because it takes two power out, so I don't want it like depowering my uh, my weapon system here. All right, so we do this into shields. Um, I'm actually just thinking for a second, like. Because I, I forgot, I don't have the heavy laser anymore. I have the burst laser too, so I have even more damage now. Because the whole beam is what? If you want it, can you? I think you can hit five of these somehow with it. I know you can do this swipe too, right? That's nine. I feel like there's a ten damage swipe somewhere with it. Um, but I don't know if that matters. But so it's what nine eight is seventeen. So we need to get three shots through. So it's like I could like honestly fire even earlier and not wait for the whole shield hack, but we'll play it the safe way. Well, I guess they're slightly less safe because it lets the missiles go off, definitely. It's all like semantics now. How bird? Hull beam. Dead. So, I could have maybe avoided that damage. If I wanted to like gamble slightly on getting uh, hits, which probably would have been fine considering, uh, actually just let me just do this. Uh, their evasion is only 20% in phase one, but whatever, it doesn't really matter either way. And it's like the next phase, it shouldn't be like, we'll just kill them before they can fire the missiles easily because we don't have the cloak delaying it. Ooh, a store. Can I resist the store? Probably not. What would I buy there? There's nothing I could buy there. 
There's literally nothing I would buy there. Ever. There's no point in going to that store. Alright. Oops. Wasn't paused at the start there. We don't care about him. Do this. Right, so it's like because the halberd hits here, like for what I was talking about before the evasion, like the halberd hits piloting for two. He's mind controlled, they have no one in there, so their evasion's zero. So they can do that like before the advanced flak and the burst laser hit. So they become like guaranteed damage if you do it that way. So that's that. All right. Yeah, repair is gonna go repair two hall at this store. It's true. I thought about that, but then the reason I didn't was partly because like, oh, I scrapped for an upgrade, but mostly because I was like, well, I don't really need to make my score go up. Gotta keep that low score going. Um, all right. So here I'll buy doors, I guess. Because the enemy can be annoying. Could buy mind control for a buffer point. Could buy doors. Because the enemy annoys me some way. Um, let's do this for a second. Get my oxygen up a bit more. All right, phase three, here we go. Just fire away. Doesn't matter how we do it. I love it. I only board with one to start because they had a guy in there already. Alright, so I think all the flak and one first laser missed. We'll still go down to four first volley. By time this fired, their shield was down, even with like about half our shots missing. So that's pretty good. Do that to deal with missiles. One damage there with fire. They're going into the uh, medical airlock, unfortunately, for them. I don't like I can do the... Uh... So I'm just gonna mind control. Like, who is mind control? Actually, my evasion, uh-oh. I'm just gonna mind control this guy. Albert. Hole beam. Black laser. GG's. All right. There you go, everybody. So uh, there you go. What is that? Four four wins in the cycle. So we're up to 116. So thanks to the Valiant Effort of the River, Otter Turtle, Egret, Nathan, Gracie, Lombard, Kletzkin, and Ohm. Pretty standard Lanius B run, just broken from the beginning, kept getting more broken the whole time. They bought the pre-igniter in like sector three. 59.10. All right, yeah, almost 6k. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't think so. I was pretty sure I had a 6k on this uh, save. 49, 102, 1940. So yeah, it's like by avoiding going to that store and like there's like one other jump I just skipped, kept me under 6k. 12 crew hired. I feel like it was more than that, but I always feel that way when I have to dismiss like more than three people. I'm like, there's just like 20 crew. It never is. So yeah, that's going to be it for me tonight, other than checking out which one's next. So let's see, what have we got so far?
NGA, Slug A, Crystal B, and now uh, whatever ship we just did, Lan Lanius B, Jesus. So mostly good ships we've done, except for NGA, it's a, a bad ship that I'm glad to be out of the way. It's not terrible, but it's weak and one of my least favorites to play, so. But otherwise we got most of them open still, 24 ships, let's see what we get. NGC, alright, so I guess we're just doing all the best ships, going from one of the top two ships to the other of the top two ships. I was thinking, I was like, if I get started early, you know, the run will be done quick. I was like, you know, if I random, if I get NGC, that's like the one ship I might start. But I didn't get start, uh, started quite early enough. Doesn't feel worth it to me. You misspelled 5910. Yeah, no, I'm sure that was, that was close to, yes. I mean, 5500 wasn't bad still. Within a few hundred. But yeah, so this will be, I don't know when this will be. Um, It might not be until Monday again. I mean, my week hopefully won't be quite as insane as it was last week, so maybe I'll just jump in and start it earlier. Being a good ship, there's a better chance of that. Um, not sure what day it would be, like Friday maybe. Thursday, I don't know. Maybe tomorrow, maybe I'll just be feeling it. So, sorry I'm not going to be giving a whole lot of heads up about that, but you can always check it out, the VOD afterwards on Twitch, YouTube. All those good things. Uh, thanks again to uh, Roy Mark for giving out the uh, the subs. Appreciate that. It was pretty cool doing the gift subs. Oh, hey, Ray. Yep, caught the uh, very end of it. Had a very smooth, easy flagship. Oh, and Zeech is here, too. Hey, Zeech. Yeah, NGC is a top ship. Um, NGC and Lanius B are like kind of the top two in my mind, I think several other people, because they just dominate bad RNG. Um, so yeah, NGC, it's got hacking, it's got two ways of dealing damage, so if you get, like, hacked or damaged, you still have damage output. Uh, Defense Scrambler sells for 40 scrap, so you have a ton of scrap on board. Uh, bunch of blue options, Clone Bay, NG, Lanius just gives you a bunch. Dual lasers is an amazing weapon. So you just start, it comes with, like, 26 drone parts or something absurd also, so you can just, like, spam the, the drone and hacking, you don't have to worry about it. It just got a lot going for it. Um, and like the, the stuff like the beam helps deal with Zoltan shields and hacking with like the really bad events in sector one. And those are the things that are like most likely to like kill a ship that's really good still. So it's just got a lot of ways and then it can scale up good. So definitely a really strong ship. Oh, it's got great venting also. It's got so many vents. Shields is a slightly awkward in engines, but overall very good venting. But yeah, so we'll check that out next time. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for coming by, supporting the stream. Make sure to give me a follow if you haven't. Check out the YouTube, tier lists, all those things, personal website. If you want to see my art, well, my business website is not a personal website. But, you know, it is. And uh, yeah, congrats to Slugs for winning the uh, sexiest FTL race poll with a AO. Oh, and Crow's playing some FTL. Crow's playing some Lanius B. How appropriate. Let's go see if his run is just quite as broken as mine. Probably. I'll jump on over there. Alright, so yeah. I hope everyone has a great night, and uh, catch you all in the next one.